Hey everyone, it's Jim, and you may remember this little joke game that came out a while back, or it was a mod, but it was Pokemon, and instead of catching them, you flooded them all with guns. Well, after that initial small game, another dev team must have seen the idea and decided to turn it into a full-fledged game, resulting in the trailer we got last year for Pal World. In the description, they said if players enjoyed the concept, that they could have something similar but original on their hands. Who would have known that shooting Pokemon with guns would be extremely therapeutic and fun for players and result in an exciting new idea for the devs? After this trailer from Pocket Pair, who also developed Craftopia, everyone was excited but weary considering what a failure Scarlet and Violet was. But come January 19th, they managed to do what Game Freak hadn't in 25 years. After constant repetition in the formula from Pokemon, Pocket Pair changed the game and created a brand new experience, Pal World. Pal World, while originally meant to be and seen as a meme game, has absolutely taken off. It's a mix and mashup of several different games built primarily around the survival and crafting aspect of Ark Survival Evolved and Minecraft, while mixing the exploration and adventure of games like Pokemon and Breath of the Wild. Currently, there are 111 pals in the game that are original and unique, but still feel close enough to their Pokemon counterparts that they come off more as homages rather than crappy bootlegs. They have different typings and designs that help them stand out, and you can tell the developers while, yes, obviously taking heavy inspiration from other games, to the point of downright taking parts of it, like the Breath of the Wild text, climbing, and heat bars, they've worked hard to make sure they mix together well and result in a refreshing and exciting adventure. Which, considering I am absolutely addicted to this game right now, it's definitely doing its job right. It completely blew my expectations out of the water since I saw a ton of my friends playing it on Steam and didn't think much of it, but it's currently sweeping the store right now. I myself opened Steam front and center and saw Pal World and its pals and some holding its guns, and immediately I got flooded with excitement for what looked like an all new survival game. I then proceeded to spend the next 9 hours playing Pal World, when I probably should have been editing a video for you guys. Sorry about that. Nonetheless, I'm getting this out to you guys now so I can spread the good word of Pal World. Not that I need to, considering it is already a success, but the time I've spent on this game and the laughs I've had, as well as the angry moments, just have been an absolute blast. Can I play Fortnite? Is it like an iPad? I'm an iPad kid, can I play Fortnite? No? God damn it. I highly recommend Pal World if you like survival games and Pokemon, or if you are particularly upset with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because this game runs and looks fantastic. There are some slight problems with pop-in, and there are some bugs with the game, considering it's still in early access, and it having just come out, you know, three days ago as of editing this, but even then, everything I've experienced hasn't been game-breaking. Just super small things, like my pal getting stuck, and I'll have to replace them down in the pal box, so they'll be able to reach the food and interact with all of its stuff again. Overall though, I've experienced very little problems with the game, and even the progression feels steady and paced out well enough that I'm not getting bored while also not feeling like I'm breezing past things. It doesn't have ARC's 3 hour timers for hatching eggs, and most things you do have to wait for are rewarding. Or you can just get some pals to help you build and craft faster and cut that wait time down. You can build something that takes 3 minutes and 25 seconds so long as you upgrade and build your base. There are many different things for you to work towards and build, and as of writing this, I only got to level 18. There's 50 levels in the game. There's so much potential to this game, which to reiterate, is still in early access and the devs already said that there's more to come. The world is large but not overbearing, and exploring is rewarded. You get a heavy amount of XP from dungeon splunking, catching multiple of the same pals, and catching new pals, which you're going to need and can use, like an arc, to upgrade your stats and get technology knowledge so you can unlock new things to craft and further advance your base. Also, like Ark, you can craft saddles and harnesses for your pals that will allow you to use some pals as flamethrowers and some that you can ride, so we can get across the maps and find dungeons faster and using different pals. And unlike Scarlet and Violet, multiple pals can be ridden, not just some new legendary PP monster you get in the beginning of the game. He just. Now listen, even with all of the frame drops and bugs and problems, I loved Scarlet and Violet. I still boot up my Switch and play the game from time to time just because I love Pokemon. Hell, I completed that game's Pokedex and personally enjoyed every second of it. 
but for a developer with no prior experience developing a Pokemon game, to come out with this absolute game changer is honestly extremely disheartening to fans of the franchise. Players have been saying for years that Game Freak can do better, and PAL World is evident proof of that. I mean, the 111 PALs that they made for this game, while some, yes, similar to their Pokemon counterparts, or some just, you know, a straight up chicken, they honestly feel closer to new and original Pokemon than the mons that Game Freak has been releasing in recent years. I'm extremely excited to see where Pocket Pair takes this game, since it's a mix-up of a ton of different genres and games that it could have infinite direction and expansion. It's gotten almost exclusively positive reviews, and its multiplayer is pretty stable. All in all, Pocket Pair took everything it learned from Craftopia and took this meme idea from a game absolutely out of this world. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna go back to befriending some pals, and hopefully I'll see you there. See!